Welcome a few kids to your activation. Okay, so we're going to be doing the activation at the end of this video. So please stay for that. And if the messages about this activation don't necessarily resonate for you, that's okay. Do the activation anyway, okay? And also, if there is a um, another sign that you see um, with a, the title of an activation that appeals to you, go and do that one as well, okay? It doesn't really matter too much about the zodiac signs per se. Um, it could be that you've been pulled to it for a reason, okay? So just have a look. Okay, so uh, we're using Work Your Light Oracle Cards, all right, and um, that's the activations that are coming out of here, which I have already pulled out. Um, Sacred Spirit reading cards to see why you need the activation and the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, so also if you could please share and um, like these videos, subscribe as well, um, because the whole point of this channel is to help people with their journey and their growth, okay? So the more people that get to see them, the more people will be able to help. Okay, so let's start here. Okay, we have first card up, birth of creation, potential growth here. Very interesting, if you kiss. very interesting. Um, so... I feel like, Ophiuchus, that this is not you just coming up with something out of the blue. There's something that you're actually growing. Something that you are, that is actually about to have a bit of a breakthrough here, I feel. Because I'm noticing here, it's like, if you imagine, I'm, I don't know, I see this as an egg, okay, and, and whatever um, has been fermenting in here is about to come to the surface and break through okay and I feel like this is it here and um so yeah it's like there's about to be some sort of breakthrough in your life okay um and this could even be on a personal level as well it could be you breaking through okay so it could very well be you breaking through some grief here, I feel. Um, uh, because we've got the Six of Cups here and we also have the Ten of Swords. So I'm wondering if for some of you, this could be some grief potentially from your childhood. The interesting thing with this card, I focus, I don't know why, but I get that some of you may have lost a, a parent, a, a particularly a dad or a, or a father-like figure. Um, brother, I'm hearing brother for some of you. Um, or it may have been a family pet, particularly a dog, obviously, which is on the cards here. Yeah, and the Ten of Swords as well. So I just wonder if there's going to be some kind of breakthrough in um, in in grief or, or any healing that potentially you are doing. There could be things from, you know, um, that have come up from your childhood that have been coming to the surface um, that have been getting released as well. Oh, I don't want those cards. I want these ones. Yeah emotional challenges resolve the issue you see if you just I feel like with this card here um this person has a mask on here and the tears that they're crying are golden tears and I feel like for you that these tears are precious very precious um Because, I focus whatever it is that you are crying about or releasing any emotions about, it's it's something precious to you, you know. Um, for some of you, 
I feel as though potentially you're actually doing this maybe in secret. Um, I feel like there are those of you who are actually kind of minimizing your grief or minimizing your emotions in the sense of kind of saying, oh, you know, I'm really upset about such and such, but it's okay, don't worry about it, it's fine, like I'm fine, look at these tears I'm crying, they're golden, sweet as, I'm fine, not to worry, I'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I do think it's honouring that grief, um, and, and maybe this is what you have been doing. Okay, so yeah, that's very interesting, very interesting indeed. Um, Sorry, we've just got a heap of cards flown out here. Just trying to see what else I get from this card. And, and the other thing that I'm feeling from this view is it's, it's almost like once you do um, release that, yes, because we have the Ten of Wands here, once you do release that, it's kind of like you'll start to see um, the, the, the preciousness of releasing that you'll start to feel the 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 load lighten i don't know why i'm the 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 because it should start a rap song with it um but i feel like yes this load will start to get lighter and lighter for you because with the ten of wands you know it's like carrying this baggage that no longer needs to be carried and i don't mean to say the word baggage as in to be like oh you know the you know how sometimes people say that is a bit of a, well, they've got baggage, you know. I don't mean it like that. But what I do want to say here, if you could say, she's got this buffalo here carrying all this luggage, right? And and it's almost as, as, as though this is all she needs. Um, and she's it, it's like struggling along, um, very warm and tired. She could potentially put this baggage down put the luggage down and ride the buffalo and get the buffalo to carry her, you know? So I feel as though that's something that um, maybe for some of you still there's some release that needs to be done, okay, um, that you don't need to carry around, okay? For some of you, this may be a bit of a protection, um, but it's no longer serving you and you don't need to do that any longer. Five of pentacles here, yeah. Um it could be that you're shutting yourself away as protection. You're closing yourself off because you feel like it's going to protect you. But in fact, what's happening is it's stopping um, or maybe has stopped this, this new creation to be birthed. Okay, um, and this is a very important thing because this, um, it says potential growth, potential growth. So it's whether you're going to choose to allow the growth to happen or not, okay? Um, yeah, and when you do that, there's a little fly in here having a little, I think the fly must be in a fucus because it's here for the reading. <laughs> um, and I haven't even seen it actually at all. And here it is. Anyway, okay, so um, I think, I think for you, if you because you need to change your perspective or change your position on something, and then you'll start to see the way out. And I feel like once you start to release, it's going to become more apparent to you how it is that you can walk through the store to have this breakthrough. Because at the moment, it's like staying in this position here is not allowing this person to look up and see number one where the light is shining right and here we have this light here getting ready to break out and break free okay and number two that even though the door may be locked and this could be the door to your heart okay the key is right here right and so it really is a matter of looking around to see and start discovering again start discovering the world I feel for you if you kiss Spirit messages, observe limitations. Observe limitations. This is, in this is interesting because the, the bird here is flapping its wings, but it's stationary. 
and I feel as though this bird is stationary because there's lots of all these patterns around it and I feel for you Fucus that there could be some patterns that you need to break out of in order for you to actually make some forward movement here okay so observe your limitations and seeing how it is that you're stopping yourself from moving forward by carrying things around that no longer serve you okay you can't move forward while sitting in this position and not seeing the key and the door there right um yeah page of cups oh i love this <laughs> I love this, Fugus. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. It's kind of sitting there going, yeah, I'll do that when pigs fly. Right? Well, guess what? The pig's flying. Time to do it. That little fly. So like, I can fly. <laughs> um, really interesting. You've got the hands doing the heart shape here i don't know what's in there i can't quite see it clearly but there's this there's this vibration from this person's heart here as well you know so this could be you know about opening your heart um we also have the six of pentacles here and this is receiving this is receiving uh, i feel like love receiving some kind of assistance, some kind of help, if you kiss. Um, yeah, because this person, oh, there's a road down there as well. Did I show you this? I think I did. But see here, there's a road down there. And see the person's hand here is very battered, like really been through the wars. And um, it's been a long journey, you know, so it's kind of receiving this help here. To help or lift you up to help raise you up you know yeah anyway okay so what's our next card um spiritual evolution set your heart free yes open the door and set your heart free here if you kiss I love this. This is really coming out of this darkness and coming into the light here, right? Just like this one here has done. Risen up from the darkness and ready to break out into the light. Man, you are so ready for such a breakthrough right now. I'm so excited for you. So excited for you. Okay, so tell me more about spiritual evolution. I can't wait to see what your uh, activation is going to be. like. Anyway, yeah. Let's just calmly get through this reading, shall we? Too many cards there. Nice and calm. Set your heart free. King of Cups. It's the King of Cups. What's the next one before I start on that? See, this, if you first filling your cup right what are you going to fill your cup with his king cups his cups filled he doesn't need to work out what it needs to be filled with he's already filled it with all the good stuff you know and so um yeah oh there's this energy from the heart coming out again here look at this energy here from the heart right same as the page of cups here yeah see like this is this cup i feel like this is this cup this is the page of cups learning about you know um what's in the cup it's a flying pig you know it's a, what am i going to put in the cup what do i want to belong in there trying out different things you know and but the king of cups he, he knows, and, and, and that's that, um, because he has set his heart free, right? He has set it free, and so what, what in turn that has done, like, he's done this growth, okay? He's done that. He's resolved his issues. He has, you know, any emotional challenges that come up, 
he resolves those, you know. He's looked at his limitations and he's gone, okay, what is it that is stopping me from moving forward? What do I need to do to clear my energy, to clear anything that I need to clear in order to move forward? Okay, so that is what the King of Cups does. And we have the world. We have the world. This is the end of this journey here, getting ready to birth this creation <laughs> yay this is so cool man so cool astral travel caution needed okay a <sighs> focus you need to really look at what you're afraid of in moving forward with this this potential growth with this birth of creation what is it that you are afraid of because it's like there's, um, sorry, I have to keep coming over here too because I've written the activations on my computer because the writing in the book's really small and so I wrote it on my computer so it's a bit bigger for me to see so we're not like, I'm not like, you know, oh my gosh, what's this here? Yeah, so just so, you know, saves everyone, well, saves me a bit of embarrassment. Anyway, a few kiss, as I was saying, it's, it's like, you're heading, you're heading up here, right? This light is about to, to come up. You're heading towards this light, right? And it's where you want to go. It's where you want to head. But understandably, it's a change. And change can be scary. It can be unnerving. We can have fears about, about it. And that's okay. That is okay. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to stay in the room and keep the door locked because we're too scared to proceed through. Okay, we're too scared to proceed forward. Because, you know, the last time that happened, we ended up with the Ten of Swords. And that's done now. Okay, and you've come such a long way. You can now put that down and lighten your load in order for you to raise up here. Because this is, this is really what it's about. It's not really even about moving forward. It's about raising up. You know, raising up from the depths of despair. And standing up and rising up. And proceeding. Like, yeah. And so, because the thing is that I feel like what's happened is through this time, if you just... You've really grown quite strong. You know, whatever it is that you have been through has given you, um, ha has been such an experience that it's given you the strength to go forward. And you have the strength. For some of you, I feel like it's really believing in yourself that you can do this. And it's kind of like, sometimes it's a bit, wow, that went flinging over there. Oof. Yeah, see, look at you, taking off, man. <laughs> taken off or over the other side of the table <laughs> yep 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 you know sometimes it's like the that that leg of the journey that it's like oh god this i can't believe i'm doing this it's really really scary you know um and but you do it you do it if you guess you do it because you know you're worth it you know you're worth it because all these patterns here that are in a jumble, right? They all get unjumbled and cleared to this beautiful pattern here that you can embrace. And this is what I feel you're heading towards. It's like you know, you know where you're going. And see here, this one here. She's put the bat, the luggage down and has only the bag. Right, she went and got the, she caught the boat. See the boat? She caught the boat and off she goes with her one bag. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, oh, we didn't have any other car fly out. We've got one more to go for that one. Okay, so one more for, what is it? Astral Travel. Travel, yeah, that travel, you know. Maybe some of you are moving, but I still feel like, you know, you are traveling. You are traveling along your journey, you know. 
And the thing is, if you curse is that the light is a place maybe that some of you haven't been before, you know? And even though it looks beautiful and lovely um, and is a dream, it's still the unknown. And it's okay. Be patient with yourself, you know? Don't put yourself down. Just, just assure yourself that it's cool. It's cool. It's going to be okay, you know? And it's okay to feel a bit scared and nervous and all that kind of jazz, you know? Even something exciting can feel scary. Too many cards. One card. One card we want for astral travel. One card for a few fists for astral travel. One card. One card. Oh, I bet Smite hates. Again. Why? Hang on. One. Okay. A few fists. I'd also just be mindful of your thoughts at this time as well, if you kiss, okay, to make sure that they're not really uh, adding fuel to the fire, pretty much the tower. <laughs> just as I'm saying, adding fuel to the fire, the tower. Notice the butterflies here, the transformation of the butterflies. Right? And... Um, Um, there's like, I, I, I actually have the feeling with the tower card here that this is representing for you the sense of vulnerability, a massive sense of vulnerability. And I feel like for some of you, it could feel like your world is crumbling around you or it has crumbled around you. Um, and for others of you, this movement in your life feels like everything could crumble around you. Like it's like it's actually been afraid that the boat is gonna tip and sink. You know, like it's 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 uncharted territory, and it is so scary for you. Um, you know, for some of you, it is that there has been this tower moment and you've had to walk this journey alone. You've had to continue on this journey on your own and get to this place of this King of Cups. Doesn't matter about the gender, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. It's the energy that this is representing, right? And having to come away, having to come away. And um, the one thing that I really want to say here is that Use your usual intuition about this, you know, really, really use that internal guidance system. Um, as I say this, open intuition. Using that guidance system, yep, see it says seek clarification. Okay, to clarify what direction you need to go in here. Okay, um, this movement may have caused the tower moment. Okay, but it's a, it's a transformation. And for some of you, if you could, there's something that you spent a long time building, you know, and you were preparing. You were preparing for the future and everything came crashing down for whatever reason. It came crashing down. And um, I feel as though this has caused this maybe... But maybe this sort of awakening in you or you're about to have some sort of breakthrough. It's all I get is breakthrough. But tell me more about open, open intuition. For a few kisses, please tell me. Okay, just a minute. I'll just pick up this card. We have the full... Look at that, the fool. This leap of faith here, wow. This coming after the tower here? Like seriously? Wow. A few, because this is, and this is the same pattern here as this. Sort of, right? Like, 
Can you see those similarities there? Wow, that's incredible. That is incredible. Using your intuition for this new journey here, Fucus, you know? Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this for a Fucus. Chariot, look at this. Chariot, moving forward, man, going forward. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, so... <sighs> Moving forward fast, you know, really charging forward. Um, and, and this is sort of like once you get this key and open this door, you're away. Off you go, right? And, and this could very well be, if you've been doing this work, this is where you're at. You're about to birth this creation. So let's have a look. Okay. So, we've got our cards here. Just give them a shuffle. Split them. Okay. A figures. Birthing a new age. What the? Wow. Wow, birthing a new age, birthing creations, oh, I'm sorry, I just can't believe that this came up and then this came up, like seriously, look, this is like this egg here, right, wow, wow, wow. Oh, mind-blowing stuff, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being, yes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, so I'm going to read the meaning of the card to you and then we are going to where are we birthing a new age here we are sorry read the meaning to you and then we're going to do the actual activation this is so cool sorry okay calming myself down now okay often our path is exactly the one that we don't feel prepared to walk walk it anyway Often, what is rising feels far bigger than we could possibly hold. Be a container for it anyway. Often, our creations seem to have a wild, uncontrollable consciousness of their own. Birth them anyway. We are birthing a new age. Right now, we are in a transition period between ages. In the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new to rise. Oh my gosh, yes. See, this is the old falling away and this is the new. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, now I'm lost in my place. Yep. Okay. Like driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear ahead, we need to release old identities and ways that no longer serve us, using our intuition as a compass. No, wow. Okay. You are part of a group of souls who have been incarnating at significant periods of history, pre preparing for this exact time. Dreaming a new world into being. Magdalene's sisters, daughters of Isis, Essenes, priestesses, witches, mystics, healers, seers, artists, midwives, visionaries, guardians of the earth and storytellers from times past. It is time to give permission and space for what is beckoning to be. What is beckoning within to be born. We are dreaming a new world into being. Wow, this is incredible. Okay, if you kiss, please place your left hand on your heart. Normally you put the card on your heart, but given that you may not have the card, put your left hand on your heart and repeat after me out loud. Okay, I am open to surrendering. To the creations that are wanting 
to be birthed through me. May I be of service in a way that delights my mind, body and soul. Please use me. Please lead me. Please show me the way. Beautiful, a fucus, beautiful. Wow, that's incredible, hey? A fucus, come back and do this every day, if not more than once a day, okay? And um, yeah, again, please share these with people because this is absolutely incredible. And I am, yeah, touched to be sharing this with, with you. So thank you for sharing your energy with me, a fucus. Okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.